Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question three from the 2012 British Maths Olympiad for girls. Find all positive integers m and n such that m squared plus 8 is equal to 3 to the power of n. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Could modular arithmetic help with this problem? Which modulo would be worth considering? Hint number two. Try considering modulo four. Does this tell you anything about m or n that could be useful? Hint number three. If n is even, then three to the power of n is a square. Hint number four. The equation can be rewritten to get eight equal to the difference of two squares, which can be factorized. What are these factors equal to? Solution. We'll begin by considering the quadratic residues modulo four, which are zero and one. Hence m squared is congruent to zero one modulo four, and since 8 is congruent to 0 modulo 4, m squared plus 8 is congruent to 0 or 1 modulo 4. Now, 3 to the power of n is congruent to minus 1 to the power of n, which is congruent to minus 1 if n is odd, and 1 if n is even. Now, since m squared plus 8 is equal to 3 to the power of m, m squared plus 8 is congruent to 3 to the power of n modulo 4, which we can see only happens if m squared plus 8 is congruent to 1 and 3 to the power of n is congruent to 1, which means that n must be even. If n is even, we can rewrite n as 2k, giving us m squared plus 8 equal to 3 to the power of 2k, which is equal to 3 to the power of k squared. Now we can rewrite our equation to get the difference of two squares, 8 equal to 3 to the power of k squared minus m squared, which we can factorize to get 3 to the power of k plus m multiplied by 3 to the power of k minus m. Now because m and k are positive integers, 3 to the power of k plus m is a positive integer. And because 8 is also positive, 3 to the power of k minus 1 is also positive and it's also an integer since k and m are positive integers. Hence, 3 to the power of k minus m, 3 to the power of k plus m are both positive integers, and so both factors of 8, and so are equal to 1, 8, or 2, 4. We will look at both of these cases in turn to see if we can find some solutions. So first we will look at 3 to the power of k minus m equal to 1 and 3 to the power of k plus m equal to 8. This gives 3 to the power of k equal to 1 plus 8 divided by 2, which gives us a k which is not an integer. If 3 to the power of k minus m is equal to 2 and 3 to the power of k plus m is equal to 4, we get 3 to the power of k equal to 2 plus 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 3, which gives k equal to 1 and m equal to 1. And so m n equal to 1, 2, because we need to multiply k by 2, is the only solution to the equation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.